Well, ahoy there, salty sea dogs and landlubbers alike. Captain Kelly here. Ah. It's an exciting day for Team Tubes. In preparation for us setting off on the 1st of January, we are now moving to the prestigious Port Pendennis Marina where all the super yachts are and we've got pontoons and the idea there is we can move things on and off such as the batteries do last minute preparations go up the mast and have power if i need it and facilities toilets and showers and washing facilities full of clothing and things so um we're going to move there for the last month plus i'm going to be away for a couple of weeks with tubes going to visit the family for Christmas. So I want somewhere nice and safe for it. So I'm today going to be leaving the mooring for the last time. I've been here for five years now. It's had its ups and downs. The base, place is beautiful. The surface is a bit poor, but <clears throat> enough said about that. And it's a glorious, glorious day. Oh, it's so chilly. It's three degrees at the moment. It went down to one degree last night. So it's cold, but it's dry, which is what we love. We love it. So I'm going to give you a little time lapse now of us setting off from here, going around and uh, going into our new home for the next month. Okay, so um, exciting times. We're just a month away from setting off on the big adventure. Cheers. One of our jobs that we have when we put into Port Pendennis and can load and unload is to replace the batteries because they're getting a little bit tired and of course I want the spot on ones. I've just ordered five new batteries, four leisure ones and they're the ones that uh, go down on a deep cycle for running all the electrics and the lights and things like that on the boat and then a, a starter battery as well for brand new starter batteries so I've got the best best way of starting up the engine especially since we're going to cold places. The problem is the batteries I've got on here are so tired uh, and I've been on board for two days and they've not got enough juice in them to start the engine. So I've now got the solar panels up facing the sun and we're going to wait for an hour and see what we can charge with. They're 100 watts each and we've got two of them so uh, that should hopefully put about, I have probably about 30 watts into them and quite a few amps there to uh, charge them up and hopefully in half an hour there'll be enough juice to start up. How embarrassing.